In this section, these things will be covered. Loading the washer, starting the washer, adding additives, and an explanation of a typical cycle. Sort the laundry according to color and type of fabric. Place a load of sorted clothes in the washer. The washer can be fully loaded, but not tightly packed. Do not overload the washer. Overloading can cause poor cleaning. The washer door should close easily. Avoid washing a single item. If only one item is washed, the machine may become unbalanced and the cycle not finish. Detergent, bleach, and fabric softener are added to the appropriate dispenser. The manufacturer's directions should be followed for the amounts. The size of the load, soil level, water temperature, and water hardness should be considered when adding detergent. Since this washer is a low water wash system, HE detergent must be used. Once the washer is loaded, close the washer door by pushing it firmly until the latch clicks. The washer door will be locked during the wash cycle. The door can be opened only if the stop, cancel, pause has been selected or if the cycle has been canceled depending upon the model. Some washers may have a power button that must be pressed to activate the control panel. A cycle needs to be selected according to the type of load or fabric. Each cycle has a preset cycle time, water temp, and spin speed. The preset settings provide the recommended fabric care for the selected cycle. The owner's manual will have details. Many washers have a control lock feature. On this model, if the control lock is activated when the washer is not running, the control panel will not operate. When the control lock is activated during a cycle, only the start and stop buttons will work. On this model, normal has been selected. Next, any options or modifiers can be selected to enhance the type of fabric or load that is being washed. Once the washer has been programmed, the start button must be activated. On some models, this button must be pressed and held. On some models, if the start button is not selected within five minutes, the washer automatically shuts off. Once the start button is pressed, the washer door lock will engage and the washer will begin filling. On this model, after filling for three seconds, the water will stop and the door will temporarily unlock for five seconds. The washer door will relock and continue to fill. The detergent will be dispensed at this time. Front load washers will only fill with approximately two to four gallons of water. Therefore, a water line will not be visible on the door. During the wash portion of the cycle, the basket will tumble in one direction, stop, then reverse and tumble in the opposite direction. The speed and duration of this tumbling action is dependent upon the cycle selected. If liquid bleach is used, it will be dispensed in the last few minutes of the wash. Once the wash portion of the cycle is complete, the washer will drain the water. Next, the washer will go into spin. The basket will only spin in one direction, but will be at a much faster revolution. Rinse is next. The washer will refill with fresh water. Fabric softener will be dispensed at this time. The washer will go through another tumbling and reversing routine. Once rinse is complete, the washer will drain the water. Next, the washer will go into a final spin. During the last few minutes, the washer will do a slow reversing tumble. This allows the clothes to be fluffed up for removal and help prevent some wrinkles from setting in. The tumbling will stop and the door will unlock. The cycle is now complete. Some models, such as this one, may display a clean light when complete. Always refer to the owner's manual of the appliance for specific model information. The owner's manual will have information that covers installation, operation, safety, maintenance, and warranties. To find the right part for this and other do-it-yourself repairs, 
Visit SearsPartsDirect.com or call Sears Parts Direct toll-free at 1-888-206-3622.